<laughs> and and beware. And this is a very another big one. A lot of my calls, I would say up to 40% of my calls that are coming in from the Franchise Tax Board are people that are no longer residents of the Franchise Tax Board. They're living so they, in- can, they can come after me even if I'm not a California resident? Oh, abs- um, absolutely. Um, and there's two types of, I, I say, non-California residents. You were a California resident and you decided to move out of state because maybe you did know you owed them, thinking that you're not going to have to pay them because you've moved. They don't care. They'll find you. Um, Tennessee, Florida, Texas. I get all these people calling me uh, because they got franchise tax board collections coming after them. Uh, another big one too is understand that if you still own, if you're still earning an income in California, if you're, um, if you have a residence in California, if you have a license in California, and I know you have a question like a regard, professional license, like a professional license, a nursing license. They are going to be looking for a tax return. If you have a, here's another gr- uh, great one, Andy, is that I had somebody that lived in Texas, has lived in Texas for 20 years. He actually still got mail at his mom's home that happened to live in Gardena, California. And all of a sudden, he starts getting his bank levied because the Franchise Tax Board saw that there was federal return. He was a trucker that lived in Texas, and they just thought that he wasn't filing his California returns because he had a California address. So if you have a California address, get rid of your California address, especially if you have no no reason to really have a California address. Maybe a family member still lives there. Maybe you have an adult child that you're, you, you use their address occasionally. Don't do that. 